What's up, YouTube? It's, it's Leviathan, and we are back with another reaction. Today, we are watching The Nevers Season 1, Episode 2. And I have to say, very, very interesting show. Not even gonna lie. That ending got me so twisted. I had no idea that that was gonna happen. An alien spaceship coming down, spreading spores, and apparently everybody's touched by aliens now. The weird interesting thing about it though is once that happened, everybody else just seemed to forget about it. So now they're trying to search for the reason of why people were touched, but they already know the reason, which is so much more interesting because there is one character, the malady lady or whatever, the psychopath, who knows what's going on, which is great. I also like the fact that it's set in the Victorian era. You could easily have put it in modern times, but I feel like it hits a lot better because it's like the turn of the century where people are starting to um, harness electricity more, trains are being like built and developed, um, you know, like they're being moved on from horse carriage and now it's starting to become more modern. And putting this type of plot element smack dab in the middle of all that is what makes it so interesting because now who knows how life will progress in their world <laughs> based on like all these super powered mumbo jumbo and whatnot anyway um don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications for all new reactions of this show and many more and um check out the patreon link at the bottom you know you can check out full uncut versions of this show and many more and um if it's something that interests you then cool without further ado let's get started with the nevers season one episode two the newspapers make money by frightening people there cannot be so many of them but how are we knowing they look normal and anyhow, I won't hate to be touched. Oh, don't. No, not to like the Mandadi, but to have a nice uh, a turn, make silk from cotton. Your gloves, Miss Cassie. They are clean. Hmm? But no longer white. Oh, yes, and rather threadbare. Jones and Jackson only provide the first pair, you know. I am a saving up. Yes. Oh, it looks like she's touched. Jeez, man, everything she touches floats. Wow, okay. That's a pretty cool power. She can turn things into ice. If you want your faith, to police the logo ship there. Everyone just stay calm. These men are being horrid. Well, Pi three adjoining properties. This applies only to the orphanage, not to the workshop. Shall we speak apart? Do you need me? We're all right. Often engage in public violence. This is true. Would you give her over violence? She put her life at risk to save dozens of others. She handed you one of Malady's gang, the great big rifleman. And followed Malady out without surprise. A surprise, it took them all of two days. Did they really think we had Malady sleeping in a sock drawer? Three of the touch declared war on society. Right now, every one of us of you is suspect. Lucy Best can break things by touching them. Primrose Chatterway. Primrose is a child, and Meek is a kitten. When a kitten reaches 10 feet, you call it a tiger. Yeah, Primrose is kind of like, it's a bit huge, you know what I mean? So, like, Primrose is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she can crush somebody pretty easily. And she's still a child. Imagine when she grows up. Best families attend. Men of influence, with wives of actual influence. Oh, damn. This afternoon, it's to be at my estate. I thought everyone was in a panic. It's society. Doing nothing is how we panic. Who wants to make it a military matter of the infantry patrolling the city? 
I'm exhausted by the ways that would go wrong. <laughs> At least the mm. public would. This is not about saving face. Marity has done us a favor. She turns sentiment against the touched, but keeps attention on herself. And the rest of the group are firmly with you now. No one doubts we're under attack. We made more of an impression on you than Malady did. Do you think she's at the root of our feminine plague? Or in league with whoever is? I don't know. But she's not a fool. And she's not a fucking baker. You haven't read it. The Irishman, Bram Stoker. It's a clever epistolary fantasia all about... I heard an ugly rumour. Ferryman's club into an actual business. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, I'm afraid there's already a waiting list. But and you, you like... have, among your entertainers, <laughs> a few of the afflicted. They're all in excellent health. But uh, thank you for the concern. I warn you, I play a lot of squash. Oh, Alistair Swan oh, one of the finest minds in England. To make light of its tragic dissolution is beneath even you. Oh, oh, I remember know. his fine mind and his fine fists. I may not be the fighter my brother was, but I've had my lessons. A couple of new things, in case you find Malady before we're back from Lavinia's party. Someone already invented these. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I'm hoping they'll work against Malady's off like love. Can't say. Until we understand her turn, it can't hurt. Is her bonfire Annie? She gets all fired up. She gets this. Bruh. What are what is all this stuff? <laughs> Evil doers beware. It's so it's advanced. Mi madre in giudato in faccia. E allora dove andrai? Ho letto di on. Oh no. Oh no. You why would you pretend to be her friend then? Why would you do that? Where will you go just so you can go snitch on Oh my god. I swear you can't trust anybody these days at all. Queen demonstrations you are free to move about. Mingle, but don't put yourselves forward. Miss Chatterway, I think you will be best served to stay by the stairs so as not to overwhelm. Men, they like talking to me. It's part of the job, sure, listening, but last few years I get more and more clients, men of stature, real flash, and while we fuck... Oh, Nigel, hat! Anyway, while we fuck, they all got to talk, <laughs> you know? Things they done or want Way or mean to do and they ain't exactly priests. Do they think I'm an idiot? They. We've just been raided and you come here to get away from the heat. Doesn't really make sense, does it? Though these days, what does? I am an idiot. I'm trying to find someone the beggar king can't trace by looking at fucking street plans. I'm not from here. And everyone wants to see the cops. Bidlow's Bridge cronies, now you, so friendly, on the run. I'm sorry, you was very worked up, and that's when my turn works on people, when they're upset. Put on your coat. Oh. Oh, just a couple of nights, please. I forget everything, oh. personal guarantee, and I... Mrs. True. I hope this means you have something useful to say. That depends. Do you feel like talking? So, so you're the detective now? Oh, she's trying to make him talk. Using this girl's yeah. turn. All right, it's me. It's over. It's half a year since I've seen her. The lads thought Malady might take Mary because of me, but... It wasn't you. But you still feel responsible for Mary. Still have that picture. Engaged for more than a year. But she waits. She waits till me whole family's... Oh, no, 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 don't you judge her, don't. <laughs> don't you judge her, Mary. She's telling us everything. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> Oh, Christ, I wouldn't, I wouldn't marry me either. You know, she, Mary knew, she knew the job would take the toll, but there's worse things. Yeah, there's things... Stop. Fuck. Did she just do to me? I'm going to find Melody. I've seen it happening. What I don't know is if I find her before or after Mary's dead. Oh, because she can see I the future. I need to be sure. I want to hear it. You sang for Melody. Now sing for me. 
if you sing and I hear it, it means I'm finally touched. Slade so really it wants to be I'm touched. Worthy. I can't. And you're not. You know? I sacrificed my little toe. Uh, uh, that was nasty. Mm. That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rat. Hey. Now then, what'd you sing? I'm. I'm not sure. To the night, pretty ditty. Huh? Why? I was afraid more people would get hurt. It comes when I'm afraid, when I'm sad. The song, it. it Helps. We had such a lovely time there. Of course, my father is much called away by his work. They're in Zurich for the season. Your mother has found a very cunning tailor, dear. Vernal lace. Hard to find by the yard. Oh, it's not yards. Uh, do we smile or <gasps> perhaps? Don't be an ass, Carl. <sighs> it's a lovely brooch. Elephant. Penance mind it for me. Memorate my mum. She ran with the 40 elephants back in the day. The gang? <laughs> oh, well. Enterprise. Did you have something you want? Uh, I, there, there are some paintings that I thought. From when I said how I like paintings? Paintings, yes, yes. I'm oh, sorry, sir. Do you know Vicar Square? Why don't you try Italy? <laughs> that was kind of rude. <laughs> Could just say Vicar Square is down the street. <laughs> So, Man. <laughs> should I be wearing one of those ribbons? Should we? Hmm. You see, I've always been keen on birds, <laughs> like, um, particularly corvids. That's crows and magpies and jays. And I was a crow. A few times. Oh, like he could be a crow. Out as or he can put his body into another... Oh, that's a cool power. That's a cool power. And then it happened when <laughs> I wasn't asleep. In, um... Church. Oh, dear. Racing over hills and forests, and, and I was controlling it. Left and right. Have you ever... Sorry. So is that how it works? I don't... Well, there's no two people who have the same turn. It... Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I didn't, um... I just thought if you're up there, then pity the poor magpie that would be stuck listening to that soon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, dear, so, so cruel, poor bird. Come on in. Oh, you've had a time of it, haven't you? We'll get you some tea. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wrong door. No. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Any alas that never finds her voice, then what is it you're after? Thorns! What I see is a crown. God made me see. The woman who sheds her skin. Oh, she's coming. She wants a son. But you don't. So why don't I am you so could make confused. Her pay a ransom. Look, my my, where my song comes from. God doesn't want us to. It's, it's not pertinent unless it gives you an understanding of malady we don't have. Well, it's clear she was abused by a doctor or doctors. That probably is a child as well. Oh, no. Yeah. The confusion of pain with pleasure. She, she's mocking God. No, she loves him. Fears him. 
Every powerful figure who ever made her afraid, made her helpless, there her understanding of God. She'd do anything to please him. Yeah, that's so how you make psychopaths, me. man. Melody felt a power greater than pain. Oh, she felt compassion and it hurt her. Mary might cure her. Is it ever that simple? <laughs> Miss Adair, some of the gentlemen have begun wagering on on whether Lucy can break the statue of Aphrodite in the garden. Oh, no, uh, please, I need to... Uh, no, of course, go, 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 go. <laughs> you were missed at the party. Oh, well, that would be a first. People saw you walking away with Miss Adair. It was commented upon. They're our guests. No, they're not our guests. They are my charity. I brought them here to help them, to prove that the touched are not a threat, yet you seem determined to prove that they are. If the guests suspect that Miss Adair has social ambitions or is using a turn to bewitch a weak-minded bachelor, the report of this event could be disastrous for us and possibly dangerous for her. I am at fault. You've been acting oddly since the opera, and I failed to notice why. Well, all the murders? There is a path that cannot be trodden. Why is she like this, though? I don't understand. Enough to keep a mistress. And we cannot it's have not a, a mistress. girl who is touched and Irish bear the Bidlow name. Mr. Dare, I think we're all done. Sorry? You. Girls, everybody's seen all your tricks and I think they'd like to spend some time without the entertainment. Oh, oh. He reminds me of that character from Game of Thrones, the one who could, um, not ban, but the other one who could, what were they called? <laughs> the one who can put themselves into animals or something? Turn is to make you believe anything he says. Kept telling the manager he was the Prince of Wales. I might become an acolyte if that's how. Inspector <laughs> mm. Mundy will come looking for me in about ten minutes. Give him this. Tell him to keep his men quiet. See you at home. I have a doll for sale with hair oh, so no. blonde and skin. So no, 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 no. I got the no. veil. Not this crazy guy. You are a very special person. You know why? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I keep looking for that spark, the touch. Dr. Hay, you're wanted at the site. Another change? No. The boss is coming to see it. Yeah, but I'm... I've given you facts that I have. How soon? Spot, you had the whole Dalmatian. This is the finest party I've been to all day. <laughs> well, what sort of sport do we think would suit you, chum? Hmm? I... A grasser over there can make both of her. Oh, look. Look, she's doing it now. <gasps> she's uh, touched. By greatness, I'd say. Touched to other future. Particularly your future. What are you... Well, I'm certainly... Masson thinks the touch were played. I think they're a gold mine, one that I've dug out. All I need is a small uh, investment. <laughs> Legitimacy keeps the legal woes at bay. More importantly, we can be partners. Dude, the, the girl's not going to be good with it. His sister's not going to be good. Oh no! You found me! You did put up a sign. She doesn't even really have a power though, that's the cool thing. She just can see the future. There's a German philosopher. Very well respected. For your pain. Your rage. At some point it's what you are. And pain despises hope, I know. That Mary's song isn't just hope. We can gather people like us and make sure your angels can't hurt anyone else. I don't care about anyone else. I care about Mary. Oh, is she your new best friend? 
Is she your new best friend? I don't know how to do this. This like, is riddle me shit. <laughs> this riddle me shit. <laughs> riddle me this. Oh, <laughs> Drop, you can shed. You're the woman who sheds her skin. You mean my dress? I mean your friends. I mean, well, you know, a friend's the one you trust to trust you back. Sarah. Oh no, they know each other. Sarah, I didn't. Oh God, I didn't know what happened to you. What happened? It? You fed me to them. I woke up every morning in their teeth that chewed me, cut me, raped me into tiny bits and then put me back and then ground me up and then this just made the story so much more interesting. You had a mission. Yeah. Well, God gave me a mission too. So now you do have a choice. If Mary is your new best friend, you must be done with that one. Oh no. See how they're connected? One drops, the other goes too, like friends. Shoot one, you get to keep the other. <laughs> Shoot me, obviously. This is only episode two, and they're already giving us a Batman style gambit. <laughs> I didn't ask for it, I'm not cut out for it. But it matters, and it requires sacrifice. She shot herself. No, no, this is cheat. No, I'll oh, hurt you if you leave me. No, she, I'm not you. I, she's a badass character, man. Oh. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Fire girl against Malady? I have no. Okay, let, 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 let's save it for the ending. I knew Horatio would have time to sew me back up. I missed the vital organs, silly. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> mm. I thought... Neither you don't know anatomy, or you don't know how to aim. There's something about Melody. No, have... those loads I'll need explained. But let's just be alive for a while. Hmm real friendship right there. Don't you think it's all a bit? We're odd. I'm odd. It's odd what I do. Is that why he didn't go through Please, with the wedding? Frank. I'm so tired. Of course. I'm sorry. For your terrible I always thought that I'd be the one saying that to you. People get louder, but also quieter. Oh, mm. you are an incomplete machine. What are they All doing? Are. Is how it works. They have a huge organization you know going on here, too. Who's the big boss? I had a feeling she wasn't as good as she, as good as she acted, you know? They found the ship. You are an American. I'm confounded by the mother tongue. This is not fun. This is war. But they found the alien spaceship though. That's very interesting. Oh no, what did they do to her? What did they do to her? Oh no. That's not fun. Okay. So that was the Nevers episode 2. And man oh man is this show keep hooking me um okay so we learned a little bit 
of some knowledge in regards to people who are touched. So what they call their powers is a churn, I guess you can say. So that's, I guess, the terminology for it. Um, as we kept going on through the show, we got more introduced to a lot of the other characters and a bit more of who they are. Um, it was great seeing uh, who was actually important to the show and who was not actually important to the show. I really didn't think that Hugo guy was actually going to be that important, but I feel like he has his role, as does the cop Mundy, as does Bidlow, or Augustus Bidlow is his first name, I think. Um, as well as a lot more other characters. Um, you got more on what's her name, Amalia and Melody's kind of connection, which I honestly did not expect. She didn't seem like she knew her at all. They were like, it was a great twist. Um, I liked what they did with that end scene where it was like the gambit of best friend to new like new person and like it was it was really cool seeing something like that because you only usually see those in like season finales or something but this was episode two so we got something high stakes super early on and it was just really really interesting in regards to that um we got more into uh, the quack doctor and what he's doing and whatnot and we found out that what's her name lavania bidlow is actually evil and at first, in the first episode, I thought, oh, wow, this lady's really nice. And then as we kept going on, especially in the second episode now, I was like, she doesn't seem that nice. She doesn't seem like she's doing it for them. She was very, very judgmental of her brother when he was talking to Prudence. So something like that just seems super, super sus to me. And from then on, I was like, okay, maybe she isn't as good as she seems. And I'm glad that she wasn't because... That ending really gave me some good vibes. Um, and also, they're enslaving touch people. So, I don't know how we're going to get through that. The doctor scares the hell out of me. People like that are always the worst because his pursuit of like science is going to go into like crazy, scary levels. And I'm sure it's going to get a whole, whole lot worse as we keep going through this show. Anyway, um, that's it for that. Um, I'm really appreciative of everybody who does support me and who's been helping me out with this channel a lot. I've been enjoying doing these reactions. All these shocking moments are just, ugh, they just, ugh, I, 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 <laughs> I'm just at a loss of words for now. I think when, when we get to episode three, I'll have a bit more of a, I guess, proper, <laughs> like, <laughs> reaction to all of it but i'm still trying to process what's going on with episode two so we'll, we'll see when it gets to that point um and it's been great doing this uh if you guys can check out the link in the discord below be great if you can join that probably have some discussions on there new things there and i'll also put up a suggestion tab just to kind of see if people want to suggest some more things to me on there but um, tough with all of that, um, I'm going to say have a great day, you guys. It's been real. This is Celeviathan, and we are out. Peace. <laughs>